So this is what running a referendum campaign actually looks like. Uh, here in my lounge I have my uh, green leaves uh, parcel packing room which is where as you can see I'm mixing up leaflets by uh, uh, green leaves to go in these mixed boxes which are then stacked over here and get added to uh, uh, bags, stickers, rosettes and t-shirts to provide a campaign pack for anyone who wants one to do the green leaves campaign elsewhere in the country. Um, out here in the lobby we have the uh, Hebden Bridge postal vote campaign which is uh, where anybody who has signed up for a postal vote in HX7 uh, district um, the uh, Pennine area in which I live will end up with a postal vote reminder asking them to consider voting leave at uh, the referendum which for them will start actually as soon as uh, a week's time because they will be getting their postal votes very shortly. Out here I have spare boxes which are for the packing uh, for the green leaves material and some of the other vote leave material that I'm issuing also out of this office. Upstairs I have the office and in the office in addition to uh, carrying a, a nice big vote leave banner I'm also calculating uh, leaflet rounds and doing the uh, counts. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that uh, there are uh, leaflets going out to all of our leafleters in uh, Calderdale. Out uh, here these are items ready for dispatch so these are the uh, parcels of leaflets and posters going to our supporters in Calderdale mainly to the east of where I live places like Brighouse and Halifax. Uh, obviously beside me large number of vote leave banners that are going to be uh, uh, useful in the rest of the campaign. Up the stairs I've got two operations in this campaign room. We've got everything to do with vote leave. There's going to be a very big series of stalls in Brig House in, uh, uh, next weekend. So uh, this is now Bank Holiday Monday. Next Saturday there are going to be thousands of people attending uh, a vintage uh, weekend in um, Brig House and we're going to lobby them and you know, see if they uh, want to support uh, leave. There's uh, lots of stall materials for other stalls that are going on in uh, Calderdale. There's my timeline which I've been running for the past two months. Uh, here's my uh, postcode checking area so I'm sure which uh, postcodes are being covered by which leafleters. Um, I have got to uh, campaign calendar. I've got more stall materials. I've got my remaining pile of unissued leaflets. I've got a stack of newspaper articles so that I can find reference to things that I've uh, uh, maybe forgotten for speeches. I've got some other references such as this pamphlet from the Socialist Workers Party from various MEPs or from the original Change or Go Business for Britain uh, uh, book. Balloons, stickers and badges. Over here I'm tracking what information has been sent to us by our opposition, the Remain campaign. I've got lots of handwritten notes about what we have to do at which particular stage in the campaign. I've got a map indexed with the names of my key activists in this west part of Calderdale. Down here I've got more of the postal uh, vote reminders, those that haven't yet been stickered up yet, and on the left those that have been stickered up but not yet been allocated to a leafleter. I've got boxes of spare postal vote reminders still to prepare. 
and over on this side I've got green leaves material so I've got boxes of leaflets to issue to my campaigners and the group's campaigners across the country featuring Jenny Jones who's the most prominent Green Party supporter of uh, Vote Leave and various other dignitaries on the left including Corbyn Ben and David Owen. Uh, eventually we're going to issue a leaflet criticise of the Prime Minister, which of course is our right to do. And over here I'm tracking the membership of uh, Green Leaves and keeping up the dialogue with them. Over in the far corner there is where I'm working out the speech that I'm going to give on behalf of Green Leaves. Canvassing lists for the people in uh, Calderdale, that's a telephone tree so that I can reach them all quickly. What's perhaps not obvious to people is just how much bureaucracy, paperwork, administration and organisation goes into a campaign of this nature. So, whatever else you think about it, appreciate the effort that is going into this campaign from people like myself on both sides of the divide. It's hard work.